guys, welcome back to this lesson. And this lesson, it pretty much goes over what we were talking about in the other lessons, the bouncing ball as the hips. But this is just going to hone in a bit more on how to use that concept in movements all over. Just not just the bouncing ball, but as in the hips we're going to concentrate, concentrate on. And then we'll do more examples on the wrist and ankles. So this is an example of an animation that I did when I was at school, at Animation Mentor. So it's basically a weight exercise. And you can see the hips are all moving quite smoothly. I mean, this was about 12 years ago, so I'm looking now, I could probably polish a few things, but what I wanted to show you was when you select the hips here, and again, we go to our famous tool, the Visualize Create Edible Motion Trail. Now you'll see a trajectory here. So this is basically how the hips are moving. Now, when I look now, it seems all right. I could just move a few curves a, a, a bit more, you know, more, so it's more rounded. But this is the overall trajectory. So if we go to, and it's fixed to this camera. So this was like, I was dedicating every arc to this camera. And you can see how it all works. So if we come to perspective view, right? So the character comes out of the scene, lands. And I'll just uh, get rid of everything. Show polygons or nerves curves. Nub surfaces, get this right, motion trail, okay. Now if you look, actually if I go back, let me just select uh, the hips again, and then get rid of nerve surfaces. Keep that in there, okay. So we look at the hips, how it's moving. So the character comes up and we're looking at these dots. Look at the dots here. You see all these dots, 23, 24. So I'm going right in and I'm trying to polish the curves. The curves don't have to be like this. They could be really small, narrow, but you're getting nice curves inside. These are the type of details when you go in and start polishing your work. This is what's gonna really refine the movement in the hips so it's not all jittery because sometimes like i've mentioned before as students we can end up doing we end up doing a lot of just random moving of the hips like maybe all jittery right zigzaggy like jittery like, and then it really messes up everything so if we look here if we go back and we play it there's all that movement you can see, right? There. So you see the head going forward, back. So it's all like little jittery stuff. That that happens. So if I just undo that, that will happen when you start, first start animation, you, you're wondering what's happening. That's because you really need to think about each pose clearly, what it's doing, and not moving stuff for the sake of it. Really concentrate on this pose, that pose, the hip, the trajectory of the hips, how's it going? Then you will start seeing your animation get more cleaner because you're you're conscious about the arcs and the flow of the hips, which is really important. So that's one thing to just really kind of think about when you're even learning animation now. Like I could bring this back here, even though this line here, like if I look here and I go back, I could even add little curves like this when you go back in just to give it a bit more of a nice transition. See, and you see I've got keys on every frame, but it won't matter because the arc is nice. Going back. So it's coming up like this, up. And then maybe in between here, I could be like, all right, I want the arc to be coming back a bit. And then you go in between that. And then you're trying to add another arc because look, now it's getting smoother, right? So you don't have to do this to all the keys but if it's like one area so then you can go back when you've added the key and you can be like all right that's a nicer arc coming in and then this one you could bring it down and then here in between because it's linear you might not want it linear you might want the arc to still be a bit smooth so now you're seeing this smooth arc and then you can move this out to create nice arc like that coming back and then here you've got these straights one 
so you could even go in the middle of this one and you can add an arc here and then have a look you could go back and have a look at your animation and that's that's the kind of stuff you want to do and then obviously you've got big movements like this so that's subtle movements but then you've got big movements like here which are showing look at the points here so if I just wireframe this might be better so if you go down look at all the points it's hitting all these points the arcs and then from here to over here there's a jump and then then there's a nice arc winding up so you can see it here it's the overshoot and then it comes down and then back so there's all that's all it is it's just a arcs arcs and then you've got small arcs that's all you're looking for that's this is this normally comes when you're polishing right at the end but you're thinking about this at the start as well when you're pro blocking out your animation because you're thinking of the trajectory of the whole character as well and the arc of the character which you'll you can see more of that in detail on my fundamentals course but this is a breakdown of a simple breakdown of when you're starting animation it will give you a bit of a head start to know these are aware of these things that you know we have to look at the arcs of the hips we have to make sure everything's moving correctly smoothly and this will help you progress more quickly so this is very i i found this very important i wish i'd learned known this when i learned animation when i first started i was never taught this so that's why i would like to stress this a lot more because if you're starting on your animation journey you can grasp this concept of the hips moving correctly planning to move the arcs all nice and smoothly that will help you a lot moving forward okay so really try and grasp that and we'll do an exercise for this as well which i'll show you which you can just practice on creating arcs so we'll talk about that as well and i'll show you some quick exercises on that as well that you can do and i'll show you that in the next video